Minecraft is an amazing game, and Blender is a phenomenal program. Let's combine the two to see what I can get. In all seriousness, I decided to try and create a Minecraft animation in 12 hours. All done without any prior experience with even importing a Minecraft world into Blender. Much of the video will be just trying to get Minecraft renders to look decent as a result, but I've also not done much with character animation either, so that should be interesting. One disclaimer is that I did already download Mineways and converted my Minecraft Bedrock world into a Java world so that it would actually work with Mineways. By the way, Mineways is what converts a Java world into a world that you can use in Blender. This took three hours due to frustrations with using a Mac with a Bedrock world, so if you're including those hours, then really this is a 15 hour long process. I'm also using a dual monitor setup so that you can only see the Blender part, but I will also be watching YouTube tutorials on how to do this, on the side. Anyways, I started by importing a chunk of my Minecraft world, and then immediately went to fixing textures, along with making the water texture a little more like you'd see in a shader pack that you'd see in Java. I then added an HDRI for some basic lighting setup, and then just like that, in only an hour, I had my first render. Now I wanted to try some basic animation, so I installed MC Prep add-on and imported my character and spent the next two hours trying to animate it, in which time I got two basic animations. I then thought it would be kind of cool if I made a render of the whole chunk I had imported, which it actually did end up being pretty cool, but it took 45 minutes to render, in which time I actually watched a couple of Black Plasma Studio Minecraft animation tutorials since I was watching them at double speed. After this render, I thought this was extremely cool, so I decided, hmm, can I make an even larger version with more of my world? Well, it turned out I could, but really this may have been a huge distraction because I ended up importing four more Minecraft scenes into the Blender file, which took me another one hour and 45 minutes, and now I only had 30 more minutes before my lunch break. In that time, I decided to try to get a better rigged character that Black Plasma Studios provide and I got it set up, and when I came back from my lunch break, I spent another hour animating that character I set up to basically open a door and then look out at the mountain. This mountain I actually thought was really cool in my Minecraft world when I first saw it. <laughs> from there I wanted to make sure the huge world chunk I had imported would render correctly, which didn't take very long, only around 20 minutes. But during this time, I saw a cool cave from the side of the world, and thought it would be cool to do a render at this spot. Little did I realize this would be a big mistake. I ended up spending an hour and 30 minutes just tweaking things, trying to get the lighting and everything to look good, but in the end, I really didn't like the result, and realized I should probably move on if I wanted to do some other things, because I still had some other ideas in mind. Like getting two more cool renders, which ironically I liked better than the cave one and they only took 30 minutes for them both. At this point I had spent 9 hours and 30 minutes, but I really wanted to do part of CG Geek's Minecraft Explosion tutorial I'd seen on his channel, which I thought would probably take a little while due to working with physics, which is usually rewarding, but at the same time it's very time consuming. So an hour later, after dealing with some annoyances with physics, I finally got the wood cubes working so that they would actually break apart. I then spent another 40 minutes trying to get the wood explosion part to work inside the Minecraft world and Blender. At this point, I had spent 11 hours and 30 minutes on these Minecraft projects, all done in one day. And I wasn't really sure what I could do in the next 30 minutes, so I ended up just getting one more quick render, and then spent the rest of that time just making the scene a little better so that it would look good when rendered. Sadly, I realized I had to reduce all the samples in order to try and get these all done by Thursday, and today is Sunday. Unfortunately, I realized this isn't going to be feasible at the time I'm writing this script, so the video will have been delayed until Saturday in order to get these renders done. Just as a side note, the huge world chunk I rendered actually took 3 hours and 45 minutes to render. Just that image alone. Granted, this was at extremely high resolution with still 200 samples. But still, that is way longer than most renders I do as a single image. The second chunk was done at a little lower samples to help speed it up, though with that said, it still took quite a bit. But anyways, here is the results of my 12 hour Minecraft Blender challenge in order from which was completed first. By the way, at the end I did end up creating a few other ones that are just kind of quick extras. Well, anyways, here it is.
Well, there we have it. Thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun doing it. If you would like me to do any more 12 hour long challenges, just let me know and comment what specific aspect of Blender you would like me to focus on. Or maybe it doesn't even need to be Blender. Maybe it's just I focus on something like Houdini, for example, and just try and learn it in 12 hours and see what I get at the end of it. I think that could be kind of fun, but thanks for watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!